Hi, my name's Matt and I'm the DLA at Cawthorn. And I'm Maya and I'm the DLA for Sackett and West. In this video, we're going to be talking to you about the history of Pride Month, what the Stonewall Riots were and its impact, and what Pride is and who celebrates it. We hope you enjoy this video. Why is Pride Month in June? Pride Month is in June to commemorate the Stonewall Riots on June 28th of 1969, which lasted six days. At the time, homosexuality was illegal in six states. Society members of the LGBT community were often subject to violence, harassment, and discrimination. And New York City gay bars were havens for people with diverse sexual orientations and gender identities. It was a place to avoid violence and harassment. What is Stonewall? Is it a person or a place? Stonewall Riot's name resulted from a police raid that ensued in Stonewall Inn, New York City. The police raids on gay bars were common, although that day patrons were fed up and resisted to arrest. While outside of the bar, a crowd began to gather and grow bigger and a riot ensued. The impact of the Stonewall Riots The Stonewall Riots and the activism involved were headed by trans people of color. For the trans people of color activists involved in those early stages, there is Masha P. Johnson, credited with throwing the first brick, and Sylvia Rivera, who threw the second Molotov cocktail. Aside from fighting back against the police, they helped with the organizations that came as a result. Stonewall Riots marked the beginning of the modern-day gay liberation movement, which brought attention to others being marginalized for their sexual or gender orientation. It sparked the formation of the Gay Liberation Front. It was the first group to publicly advocate for equal gay rights. On the one year anniversary, June 28 of 1970, the Gay Liberation Front organized the first gay pride parade. June 24th, 2016. On this day, President Obama made Stonewall Inn in the area outside where the riots took place a national monument. This monument became the first national monument celebrating gay history. Stonewall Riots was a pivotal moment for the modern-day gay liberation movement. LGBT gained visibility and momentum relevant to this day. So why Pride? Who celebrates Pride? Really, anyone can celebrate Pride. Usually Pride is celebrated by members identifying the community or those who have those social identities. It's also celebrated by individuals who are not yet out or are questioning their identity, allies, families, and friends, people who have resources to share, and small businesses and activist groups. Something important to remember is the reasoning for celebrating Pride. What does Pride mean for people? As mentioned before, Pride is a remembrance of the Stonewall Riots. It is a celebration and acknowledgement of identity and a reminder of community and that the movement isn't over yet. It is a way to increase visibility of self and the issues still being faced. Pride is a place where the LGBTQ community is the majority. Why is Pride important? With the history Pride parades carry, it is important to remember where the community has come from and what it has fought for. This is a time for the community and their allies to celebrate themselves and all their hard work. Pride looks different for each person and holds its own significance to each, meaning that no one person's experience or connection to it is any less valid than another individual's. Still, in ways, it is to protest the injustices that are still taking place. As Pride and other LGBTQ matters involve not only the community, but their allies as well, it is important to learn how to be a good ally. One of the ways to be a good ally is to learn about the adversity LGBTQ people face. It's important to recognize that an ally will not be able to understand the exact experiences of the LGBTQ identity, but they can find ways to educate themselves and to learn more about the community to better support them. Another way to be a good ally is to learn to use the correct and inc inclusive language. While these are just a few ways that allies can support, if you'd like to learn more, please reference the How to Be a Good Ally video that was released during week eight by DLA Bees. As you are learning more, there is a variety of resources that Oregon State has to support you. There are the Pride Mentors in Wilson Hall, the Pride Center on the south side of campus, the Hattie Redmond Women and Gender Center, Seoul Multicultural Network located in the Pride Center, and your Diversity Learning Assistants. We hope you enjoyed this video. This week we'll be hosting a dialogue to talk more about Pride. We hope that you'll join us.